Welcome back everyone. Did you know there are oranges growing in the wild right here in North Mississippi? Jesse is saying no, <laughs> it's not the citrus you're thinking of grabbing off your grocery store shelf. But our Joey Barnes and Dr. John Long tell us why it could still use this fruit in the kitchen in this week's Next to Nature. Jesse, pay attention. <laughs> Welcome back to Next to Nature with Dr. John Long. And uh, today we are looking for fruit in the forest, That's I guess right. you would say. That's exactly right. Uh, he calls it nature's barbed wire. Tell us about this orange. Okay, so this is uh, called trifoliated orange. Uh -huh. And you can see it has very long spines uh, on it. As the name would imply, as uh, orange, it is a citrus. Um, it does not have oranges as we would think about it, but it does have a fruit that is slightly yellow and uh, is about the size of a lime. Okay. Yeah. All right. And so uh, this, uh, <laughs> it's kind of interesting because you were saying this is a fruit tree, a citrus tree. Right. But it also has other characteristics that make it not a fruit tree, it's, right? It doesn't look like your typical fruit tree. Yeah. Um, so you can obviously tell it's it's really a low canopy type of tree, mm -hmm. uh, but yet still a tree. Obviously, different characteristics that you would see off of a lemon or an orange tree is the spines. That's the main uh, distinguishing characteristics, and it it really serves as a protective against other animals that would want to feed on that fruit. Interestingly enough, uh, the fruit. Uh, is small and contains a lot of different uh, seeds or mm. so, has so many seeds. It's really not a really good forage for wildlife, but they will eat it on occasion. Uh, good use for it is it as a uh, hedge. Uh, mm -hmm. You can imagine, I, I always call this nature's barbed wire because you can imagine a line of this as you see here, that's really hard for those animals to go through or, or humans for that matter. Yeah. Uh, Another fun fact is that uh, Oklahoma State University, about 50 years ago, planted uh, these uh, trifoliate orange uh, on campus as a hedge, and I'm told that it is very student-proof. I bet it is. Through, so. That seems like some sort of punishment. <laughs> <laughs> Could be if you try to walk through it. <laughs> it will definitely hurt you. Right. Uh, one of the things we were talking about, the, the orange, the fruit that actually comes yes. from this is very bitter if you tried to eat it. Right. But they do make orange marmalade out of That's it. That's right. That's about the only thing you can make out of it is orange marmalade. Uh, but as you said, it's very bitter and there's a whole process to make it into marmalade where it's edible, so, but overall, unedible. So if you're trying to uh, keep people and maybe some animals out of your yard and you want a sharp, thorny hedge, this is the, your go-to, right? Yeah, that's exactly right, <laughs> that's exactly right. All right, thank you, Dr. Long. Thank you uh, for joining us on this week's episode of Next to Nature. We'll be back again next week. Thank you.